Hello, my name is Paulina Valtasari and I'm uh, doing my doctoral uh, studies in an applied department, applied studies, about uh, mental coaching methods for professional musicians. My own background is, is a classical violinist, fully artistic background, and after many coincidences, uh, I started to do my, my applied project about this subject. Uh, my, my artistic background was mostly uh, in uh, Finnish radio symphony orchestra. I was playing the first violin in that orchestra uh, more than 10 years and then playing a lot of chamber music. And uh, uh, five years ago I got a difficult hand injury, a uh, job-related hand injury, and that was my main force to, to start my project with this kind of subjects. So, as we know, there are many job-related stressors uh, with professional musicians, and that includes in our professional life. And uh, this study has made uh, with, um, it's a review article about orchestra, orchestra musicians all around the world, and, and these are maybe the most known job-related stressors that we know about uh, playing in the symphony orchestras. And they are uh, public exposure, like uh, music performance anxiety, stage fright, personal hazards that are uh, personal risk factors that might be artistic integrity, perfectionism, uh, interaction between colleagues, Career satisfaction, just some, some to mention. <laughs> Repertoire, we have uh, quite high demands uh, for ourselves. How to, how to play our repertoire in the orchestras and, and uh, we are quite demanding about the errors and uh, technical problems and, and task difficulties. And that's quite natural because it's so an important thing for us to play as, as well as possible. And then competition, there is usually only one person who is getting the job in audition. And as we know, sometimes it's 150 candidates trying to get a job in, the, in that audi audition. Then so, uh, job context, uh, job insecurity, financial insecurity that are maybe more relevant for freelance musicians. Uh, am I going to get a new contract or not? And, and what kind of, uh, how is it going to be with my next month salary? And this, this kind of things, it's quite a stressful situation anyway. The touring, environmental factors like um, loud noises, bright lights in some, some cases. Equipment, if we have a very non-ergonomical -er instrument and, and difficult instruments to handle and, and it's, it m might be quite stressful if we have difficulties with the equipment. Then injury illnesses that are, for example, musculoskeletal, neurological, dermatosis. Dermatosis means skin problems like violin neck and sometimes it might be even infected <laughs> in the worst case. So that's why it, it's here. And criticism. So we are self-criticism, and and also supervising criticism, like from conductors or audience, or it, it might be quite harsh sometimes what we can read on the newspapers next next day, day or two days after. So these are uh, about the, the stressors, and then uh, all of the stress factors are interrelated and affect each other. So there is there is no usually only one stress factor. They, they are all together and, and they interact in both directions. And I have two, um, just want to, to mention uh, two studies made with, um, among big symphony orchestras. One of them is made in uh, Norway and this one has made in, in Britain. And this kind of evidence I, I got from these studies, uh, symptoms of anxiety and depression are higher among professional musicians compared to the general workforce. So that's quite natural to believe our work includes such a different kind of stressors than, than, than sitting in an office and writing the computer and, and this kind of thing. So it's, it's quite reasonable that, that we have this kind of 
problems maybe more. And then a connection between musculoskeletal symptoms and somatizing ten tendency among musicians is, is found also, and, and especially with uh, female musicians, that is interesting, that maybe females, uh, women are a little bit more sensitive with their bodies. So just if somebody doesn't know, this uh, somatizing tendency is, is a condition that uh, its origin is, is uh, psychological uh, symptoms like uh, anxiety or depression, but the outcome is physical. So it, it might be some kind of uh, chronic headaches or um, musculoskeletal pains or, or this kind of problems that you don't find, that the doctors don't find any kind of physical reason for that. And, and then the roots might, might be sometimes more, more psychological and, and this kind of things. So um, there's also evidence that colleague support relieves work pressures. So, and that's the main thing in my research that I, I want to uh, concentrate in, in the, the colleague support and this kind of social uh, context, what's happening there and what kind of help can we give to be more collegial. And I'm using, uh, I'm reflecting two social psychological theories in my research and just very, very <laughs> simplifying them, uh, one of them is social identity theory and one of them is positioning theory. And these are the really, really the most simplest principles of those theories I'm going to, I'm going to use in my research. Uh, social identity of the group. Social identity means a feeling of us. So it's a feeling of myself uh, as a member of a group. And uh, it's also a desire to work and give your effort for that special group. And uh, positioning theory uh, shows us um, we all have positions in the group. And uh, because of the position and role, we all have responsibilities and rights in the group. And that's because everybody has a personal storyline, like my storyline is my life, and then I'm also part of the cultural storyline that might be part of a Finnish cultural storyline or it might be a storyline of uh, doctoral students of Sibelius Academy or it might be a storyline of professional violinists playing in the first violin section in symphony orchestras <laughs> or something. And we are part of many cultural storylines. And then we have the position and then we have this, uh, in this theory, in this position in theory, we have this speech act that means uh, all kind of significant social action, what happens in between people. So it's speech act is, is quite a difficult term, but, but we can think about more like, thank you, <laughs> social, social action. And all of these things affect together. So let's go on. Uh, my goals of, uh, the goals of my application project are to strength, strengthen professional companionship among musicians, helping to maintain musicians' professional skills and working ability through the lifespan. So we really can be musicians until we get retired and even further. <laughs> Uh, releasing musicians' artistic potential by focusing on a psychologically safe working environment. And that's one of the most important points in my research. That we really have to have an environment, we don't have to be afraid of others and, and colleagues. So, usually in the big orchestra we are not able to choose who are we working with, but, but we can do something for, 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 the, for the atmosphere we are working. And of course, relieving job-related stressors by learning be beneficial social and personal skills. And that's the main thing in my application project. So, <clears throat> my uh, project and product is going to be workshops and material for musicians. Inter I'm going, first, I'm, I'm going to start with interviews with uh, professional musicians and, and try to find the, the needs and the difficulties and the, the challenges they have. And then I'm going to create workshops and then testing the workshops um, via um, questionnaires and um, trying to get something, 
something out what was what was good and what was not in the workshops. Um, there will be mental coaching methods. I'm going to use methods of cognitive short therapies and clinical supervision. I'm not sure about the word clinical clinical supervision, but in Finnish it's two and all years. And um, during the same time, I've done my, my doctoral project. Uh, I've also studied uh, a lot of psychology and social psychology in Hesit University. And I'm also a licensed uh, cognitive uh, short therapist. So it's, uh, it's, it's my one of the most important tool in this kind of this, uh, coaching method. And then custom-made workshop for musicians, individual work, teamwork, and maybe it's I don't know yet, but maybe uh, it's going to be popularized handbook for musicians. Every musician can take it and read, so it's not so sci uh, too scientific. And then maybe podcasts, lectures, courses, something else. <laughs>